Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont stirring up controversy for supporting voting rights for prisoners. You have said that you believe that people with felony records should be allowed to vote while in prison. Does this mean that you would support enfranchising people like the Boston Marathon bomber, a convicted terrorist and murderer? But I do believe that even if they are in jail, they're paying their price to society, but that should not take away their inherent American right to participate in our democracy. Well, our next guest was one of the first firefighters to respond to the Boston Marathon bombing, which killed three people and injured more than 260. His wife, Katie, was also one of the marathon runners that day, and he joins us right now. He's the General Secretary Treasurer of the International Association of Firefighters, Ed Kelly. Ed, good, good morning, to have Steve. You. So your wife, uh, Katie, was two blocks away when the pressure cooker bombs went off. She was. She just finished the marathon and was at the corner of Boylston and just turned it on to Berkeley when the first bomb went off. And you were one of the first responders. I was. I, I, truthfully, though, I wasn't one of the first ones. We had firefighters that were right on the finish line. We had firefighters stationed Great. on Boylston, and, and the first two trucks, Engine 7 and Ladder 17, were about a block away when the bombs went off. What I did was I grabbed my gear and ran up there with... Uh, Another firefighter that had just finished the marathon mm. and ran back up there to help people. There are a lot of people who say that uh, convicted felons, once they serve their time, should be able to vote. In fact, the president, with the first step uh, bill, endorsed that uh, point of view. And you have that same point of view. But what Bernie Sanders said at that town hall is, while they're in prison, even the Boston bomber, killers, murderers, uh, rapists, uh, should be allowed to vote in elections. It's ridiculous. I think that, you know, society has rules, and if you break those rules, we have there's re repercussions. And one of those repercussions is you lose your rights, one of them being the right to vote, in my opinion. When you talk about terrorists that from Nigeria to Afghanistan attack polling places to attack the very fundamental principle of democracy, which is the ability to vote, why would we ever let a murderer who murdered children like the Boston Marathon right. bomber, have a voice in our democracy. Well, we, uh, in the first hour, we showed a, a tweet from Cher. She has since deleted it, but she said, really, Bernie? Uh, are you serious about that? Why do you think Bernie Sanders that night said that? Do you think that's what he thinks, that Zokar Zarniev should wind up voting, or was that something that uh, he made a mistake on? Well, I think that uh, Senator Sanders is a pretty intelligent man. Not that I agree with all of his stances, mm -hmm. but... I think he's been in this game long enough that I don't think he misspoke. I think he knows exactly how he feels. And I think that's a dangerous uh, platform for the leader of our democracy, a person who wants to be the leader of our democracy, saying that people that attack our democracy deserve a, a voice and vote in how we protect ourselves, which is the first obligation of the democracy. Well, you've got to feel good, though, about the fact that there have been a number of prominent Democrats, including, including Seth Moulton, who's running for president as well, just declared the other day. He said that Bernie's wrong about that. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think who's running to his defense on this one? Um, I, I don't see where someone that killed uh, five people now with, um, you know, the three people that were killed in the bombing that day, right. including little Martin Richard, you know, from my neighborhood, and uh, Dennis Simmons was a Boston police officer that died from injuries sustained the day of the bombing uh, sometime later. Well, the job of the President of the United States is to keep the people of the United States safe. First and foremost. And you look at that message, okay, my job is to keep you safe, but at the same time, the people who actually have taken lives should be able to vote. That seems at odds with the job. You know, when you look at what is going on in this world where there is seriously... Uh, there's serious movements uh, to attack democracies and attack the West, and we saw it this Easter weekend um, in Sri Lanka. Um, we saw it on 9-11 yeah. down the tip of Manhattan here where 343 of my brothers and almost 3,000 of my fellow Americans were murdered. Um, absolutely, first and foremost, the role and responsibility of the Commander-in-Chief of this United States is to protect the citizens. All right. Steve. Ed Kelly, thank you very much. Thanks for your service. God bless America.